Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a table-like gallery in Power Apps Canvas Apps that has headers and is scrollable both vertically and horizontally. In my Canvas app, the first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is update my settings in order to make this app be responsive. I'm gonna go ahead and click in settings and select display and scroll down and where it says scale to fit, I can go ahead and turn that off. First thing we're gonna do is in order to make a gallery that it's a table like gallery with headers and also scrollable both vertically and horizontally is we're going to need to use containers if I go ahead and click insert here and go to layout I can select my first containers I'm going to use and you'll see we have a regular container vertical and horizontal so I'm going to go ahead and select a vertical container this will be my main container that will hold the header and the gallery so I'll go ahead and just label this main container. For this one, I'm gonna go ahead, it's just gonna control the size that I'm gonna view my gallery and headers in. I can leave it as a fixed size or I can make it so it's responsive with the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm gonna make it the full screen size. And we're gonna go to height. I'm going to put parent.height for width. I'm going to go to parent.width. And that will be now the full screen size. The next thing I'm going to want to do is where it says horizontal overflow, I'm going to change that to scroll. And this is what's going to allow us to scroll horizontally. Now I need to insert and my next header, which will be used for, uh, not next header, next container, which we use for the header. So go back to insert, I'm gonna go, and now this one is going to be a horizontal container. By default, it's filling the whole container size, because it's the only container within here, but we're going to adjust that. The next item I'm gonna add into my main container is going to be a gallery. So I can go back to that insert, and I can go ahead and select a vertical gallery. I'm gonna do a blank one. And now coming back here, I'm going to want to adjust the sizing of the containers. So it's one's a gallery, one's a container. I don't want those to be equal heights. What I'm going to do is change this container and I'll label it so we know what it is. Header. And I'm gonna make it the size the height size of what I want my gallery or my header to be. So in this case, I'm just gonna go with 40 and turn off flexible height. So now what I can do is I can start entering labels. So I can go ahead and just insert a text label and I can call this, let's say, label header one and I'll just change this to say, actually it's called column one. And then I can copy and paste this. And you're gonna see what it's going to do is make them so they're all aligned properly. And so I can keep doing that. And I can also change all of these to have a width of, what I'm gonna do is make the width 200. And now I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine headers here. Now I could definitely make, uh, calculate the width I'm going to need um, by adding up the width of all these. But what I'm just gonna do is go to my container header here. And for my minimum width, so layout minimum width. I'm gonna just make that the <clears throat> nine times 200 that we just did. And so now, and also I'm gonna add a border to these so we can see it clearly. And so now when I look at it in a responsive screen, I'll see it scrolls 
horizontally and vertically. Now what I can do is I can go ahead and change these values so it's clear to us. So I'll just go one by one. Also, I'll change the numbers of the labels so we can match them up correctly. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to insert labels. So for the first label in my gallery, whoops, didn't go in there. I'm going to take the padding out of my gallery. So here where I have template padding, go ahead and take that out. And I'm just going to make this um, height, let's say 40 as well. And put this as the X and Y to zero, so it's at the top. And now I want this to sync with my header when it scrolls. And to do that, I want this to match my label header one. And I'm going to change the X to have the same value. And I'm going to make the width have the same width. So these are now linked together. And now I can do the same thing for the next ones. So here I added another label I copied and pasted, but I want this one to sync with header two. And I'm also going to change the width to header two. And this one I'm going to change it to this item B. And I can do this again. And here again, we're going to want to do width and the X for this example. So we would continue that process until we finish all of the columns you have in your table that you need to add. And now, like I said, with it being responsive, I can go ahead and scroll and it keeps everything aligned with my header. What's also important to do is you want to make sure your gallery has flexible height because it will, that way we can scroll through everything. For the width, so we're gonna to wanna to change the minimum width just like we did with the container header. So I can actually just link those so it's, I only have to update these the containers, uh, the headers container. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a container header dot width. What's also nice about this is if I decide to change the ordering, I can go ahead and hit reorder, move to start, and you'll see my column moved with it from my gallery. I hope that you guys found this helpful and can't wait to see the great galleries and tables you guys put together.